Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, we're looking at Sierra chart and today I want to show you how to set up a continuous futures contract. Currently my chart is set up for the E-mini S&P 500 on the June 2013 expiry and we're looking at a daily time frame. And if we compress our chart a bit and scroll back, uh, we notice that there isn't really a whole lot of trading activity before about October of last year. You'll see it kind of uh, filters out as this uh, expiry wasn't very active before then. So if I happen to wanted to view the uh, trading price or the price action for um, you know the E-mini S&P back to July on this chart, uh, we can do that. We just need to set up that continuous futures contract option. So to do that, we're going to go to our chart settings menu. So we can go to the toolbar here and just select the CS button or chart settings button. And then I'll bring up our chart settings menu. Now here we need to go to the advanced settings tab and that's the first advanced settings tab. From here, it's fairly straightforward. We just need to enable the continuous futures contract option. You'll notice that it does say slows data loading. That's just because it's gonna backfill the previous expiry so that we can have that price data available to us. It's important to note that that uh, data is not back adjusted, although you can manually back adjust that if you wish. And we're gonna show you how to do that in another video. It's also important to remember that um, the way it connects these options or these uh, expiries for us here is to connect them where the volume starts to exceed the previous expiry. So just for your information uh, to see how those are kind of connected together. So we'll select OK and that'll apply that for us. It's going to load all those previous expiries in there so that we have that price data available to us. Now that, since that is done uh, loading here we can actually scroll back through our charts and you'll notice uh, if we even get back to the kind of October here of where it kind of started to filter out we didn't see a whole lot of trading activity now we see plenty of trading activity we can compare the price with the current price and you'll see it uh, loads it up just for us uh, perfectly here using that continuous futures contract option if you have any questions for us here at Optimus just let us know by either giving us a call or sending us an email you can also check out our website at optimusfutures.com